Hi everyone and welcome to this week's run. So today's video something a little bit different from what I usually do but as promised in last week's video today I'm going to be going through my kit for next week's London Marathon. So I'm going to finish up this run, head home, get my kit ready and we'll go through it together. So I'll see you in a sec. Okay so my kit for London 2021. So we're going to start off with a few sort of creature comfort things that I'm going to be using on the day um, just to keep me comfortable as we run. So I've got a roll of kinesiology tape here. Um, basically I'm going to be using this, stick a couple of strips of this on the nipples just to stop them from chafing. You know sometimes if you get wet and sweaty and if it's raining you can be, get a bit of chafing. So I'm going to cover the nipples with a bit of kinesiology tape just to keep me comfortable. And I'm also going to be using some Run Glide which is an anti-chafe stick. Um, just applying that to a few body parts uh, just to keep me chafe free and comfortable as we go through the race. So, clothing. Um, let's start at the bottom. Obviously you would have seen in a couple of vlogs I'm going to be using my uh, Clifton 8s. Starting to get a little bit of dirty now and a bit battered but um, still holding up well. I think I've got about 130 kilometers into them so far. Um, but yeah, they're still a really, really comfortable shoe and I went out this morning in them and they just feel fantastic so yeah they should get me the, through the distance no problem at all so that's what I'm going to be wearing on my feet and then I'm going to be wearing on my feet also is these socks so these socks are say sky socks um, pretty cool design on them there not that that's going to make any difference but I really like the design on them run or die um, and they also have like nice arch support they're also lightweight and soft and very good at sweat wicking so really comfortable pair of socks to go with some really comfortable shoes so that's what I'm going to be having on my feet. Moving up we've got shorts so I'm going to be wearing these. These are Nike I think they're Flex Stride I think is the model. Uh, five inch short I think they are. Um, got a nice breathable panel here on the side. Pretty cool design. Um, Nike usually do good designs on their shorts so yeah not that that's going to make any difference as I say but yeah nice to be seen and uh, look a bit stylish as you're running so yeah that's what I'm going to be wearing I wore these shorts a lot during training and they're so comfortable so I'm going to be wearing these on race day uh, then we got the top obviously I'm running for Alzheimer's Society so I'm going to be wearing their top very nice and bright colours really like the colour scheme on this one and obviously we've got all that logoing on the back there um, I have got to put my name on here so I have got three letters Ben to be ironed to this top which I sure will do at some point this week um, obviously with Theo and Zachary about it's a bit busy in the household and doing little things like that it's just just runs time runs away with me so I need to get that done at some point as well so that's what I'm going to be wearing on the top nice breathable material and uh, yeah really comfortable okay next up on the top is going to be a jacket obviously with it being in October we don't know what the weather's going to be like um, at the moment it's forecasted rain but obviously that could just be a light bit of drizzle at the start of the race or you know towards the end but you just never know what you're going to get it could be glorious sunshine but i'm going to take a jacket with me just in case um, and i'll get on to how i'm going to be carrying that and whatnot next but i'll just go through the jacket first so as you can see i got this jacket about two three weeks ago um, from decathlon very lightweight i don't know if it comes out on the camera very well but it's sort of so lightweight it's transparent um, very very breathable material loads of ventilation here on the back and it also has these two large zips on each side which you can open up just to let some air in so it's a very very breathable waterproof jacket um, tape seams hood which you can tuck away into the collar so you can stash that away if you don't need it uh, a couple of drawstrings here to tighten it around your face so it's not all flapping around but yeah I've been very impressed with that so far I've only used it on a couple of days when it's been raining um, because as I say we haven't had much rain seeing as it's October which is odd but I'm going to take it with me just in case and I, the plan is it also will keep me a bit warmer before the start of the race so obviously when you're waiting around in the starting pen and whatnot that's going to keep me a little bit warm to keep the wind off so yeah I'm going to be carrying it with me throughout the race and I'll tell you how in just a second so moving on from that I'm going to be wearing this compressed sport band it's like a trail running band basically um, and basically you can store everything you need in here so in here I'm going to be putting a uh, soft last which is going to be this one 
and it's a 500 ml soft flask and I'm going to be filling that up with some Tailwind which I will be using which is also going to be this one here and that is the green tea buzz it has uh, caffeine in it so that should keep me going for at least the first half the 500 ml of that so I'm going to have that on me and just keep sipping that but that is going to be stored in here along with uh, my phone and I would have had my camera in but I've decided to go with another option which I'll go through in a second but it can fit your camera and the little selfie stick in there and obviously other things like um, keys, bit of cash, you know, the bits, odd bits and bobs they're all going to be going in here. Now in terms of the jacket like I mentioned it does have these two sort of bungee cords on the back, they're elasticated straps and they've got like rubber grips on the side and this is designed for when you're trail running to carry your poles but I'm going to be taking the jacket in there um, just so I, if, it, if I do get warm and it's not raining I can store it in here so I just feed it through um, from bottom and to the top just pull it through there and then that basically just carry that on my back because the jacket's so lightweight don't even notice it and it's not weighing you down and it also means I don't have to wear my trail vest so hopefully that's going to work well for me Another thing it has on the front, I don't know if you can see them very small, these sort of little tabs here which you, you can use to attach your race number. So I'm probably going to be using that, save me putting a load of safety pins for everything and wrecking my clothes. So yeah, this belt, really, really awesome, really lightweight, great material as well. So yeah, that should work well I think, that should cover all my bases. Also going to have in there my gels. Um, I'm going to be using these SIS ones. I had been training with uh, Mountain Fuel, which I really, really like the taste of, but I couldn't unfortunately get my lemon and lime flavour that I really like. So I just went back to the old faithful SIS. These are readily available anywhere. Used them in a lot of races in the past, a lot of runs, and I know I don't, have, I don't struggle with them, no uh, digestion problems or anything. So this is what I'm going to be using. I've uh, got a couple of blackcurrant flavours, I've also got some uh, pink grapefruit and lemon and lime. So I'll be mixing it up, I'll probably take about five in total. I think that should be enough to get me through. I know they're giving out Lucas A ones on the course, so if I find myself struggling, maybe I'll pick up one of those in a pinch, but I reckon these will get me through. So that's those two, belt and gels, everything out of the way. Then, last thing, I'm going to be wearing a nice item of clothing. It's going to be this hat, uh, it's my night trail running hat. Uh, well tried and tested, absolutely love this hat, it's so comfortable, very breathable, wicks the sweat away off my head and yeah just enjoy running this one, it's uh, the old faithful should we say, this cap, it's yeah it served me well since I've had it so that's that. Now moving on to technology things, um, obviously being a YouTuber, gotta have the GoPro so I'm gonna be using this with this uh, extendable selfie stick um, this is what I use for most of my filming anyway. Um, as I mentioned before, if you do use a shorter selfie stick, because I do have, um, I think it's the GoPro Stubby, I think it's called, which is sort of half the length of this and a little bit thinner as well. That and the GoPro will fit into that belt and you can carry it around your waist if you wanted to break, but I've got used to running long distances with this one. I mean, I've done 250Ks holding this and it hasn't been a problem. So. I think I'm just going to stick with what I know um, and also because of the extendability gives you a few other options for filming you know if you want to get high above the crowd um, yeah hopefully that's going to get some decent shots so that's what I'm going to be taking and also spare battery in a plastic bag just to keep it dry and uh, sweat free so that's going to be going in the belt as well to keep the battery going <laughs> hopefully we can get some good footage on the day so that's those um, I'm also going to be taking my headphones, these um, Aftershocks, I use these all the time, I absolutely love these headphones, so lightweight, um, safe obviously because they use the bone conduction technology which doesn't block your ears, so yeah these are awesome. I'm probably not going to listen to too much music during the race because I just want to try and enjoy the atmosphere and uh, know what's going on around me but the main idea about taking these is for phone calls. Obviously if you're out on the course you don't want to faff around getting your phone out of your backpack and, or out of your belt and whatnot. It's easy to just push the button on the side of your head, answer the call and uh, yeah, just get on with the running basically. So that's going to be good for keeping in contact with people that are watching me out on the course, friends and family and whatnot. And then last bit of technology is going to be my watch. So I've got my Garmin Phoenix 6 Sapphire um, which I recently got during this training block and the plan is to uh, use the Pace Pro feature on here, um, I've downloaded the GPX uh, of the 
course and basically the pace pro is going to help me hit those paces and hit the times hopefully if it works correctly so that's the plan obviously there's going to be no pace runners out on the course this year just to keep it a little bit more covid secure but um, the plan is hopefully this watch is going to keep me on time so we can try and hit that three hours and 50 minutes target time so i think that's about it obviously we have the drop bags that we have to take before the event which they're going to put our medals and stuff into at the end in there i'm just going to be basically putting in a change of underwear some fresh shorts socks um a hoodie and probably some deodorant and some baby wipes that's just a freshen up afterwards and then i'll probably just put on the finishers top that they supply in the bag at the end um, just so i have a fresh change of clothes for the journey home so i think that's about everything for the kit i'm going to be using guys if you've enjoyed the video please press that like button and if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing for more running videos like this. So that's it for now. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you all in another video. Peace.